We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. And in this clip, I'm going to cover an item from The Wraith. This is from 1986, starring Charlie Sheen. So another interesting set of connections that I was able to follow through uh, to some degree appear to be references to the character Q from Star Trek The Next Generation. He's played by actor John DeLancey. Actor Nick Cassavetes plays Packard Walsh. He's like the main um, bad guy in this movie. And watching this, I couldn't help but notice the resemblance to John DeLancey. He's kind of a god-like character, uh, small G god. And he appears uh, throughout the series. He causes all kinds of uh, mischief and trouble for the crew of the Starship Enterprise. All right, so links to Star Trek in the Wraith, 1986. There are plenty. Actor Clint Howard, he plays Rughead in the Wraith. And he was Balak in the original uh, Star Trek television series. And this had to be from like 1967 or something. The episode, The Corbomite Maneuver. And, uh, and his character in this episode is not unlike uh, some of the stuff that Q did. Actor Randy Quaid, he is Sheriff Loomis in The Wraith. And he was in Independence Day in 1996. With Brent Spiner, who is Data in Star Trek The Next Generation. Which ran uh, between 1987 and... In 1994. There's an actor in The Wraith, David Sherrill. He plays Skank. And uh, yeah, to me, he resembles uh, Kevin Costner. Uh, so Kevin Costner, he was in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. This is in 1991. And just so happens there was a Q episode that also used the Robin Hood story uh, as a setting. And, uh, another noteworthy actor from this episode is Jennifer Hetrick who is Vosh. And Vosh is sort of like the um, love interest of um, Captain Picard in a couple episodes. So in the other episode that she was in this was Captain's Holiday and in this episode, uh, Captain Hardy goes on a vacation on the planet Risa. There's an item uh, that becomes uh, of interest in this episode, and it's called the Tox U Tot. All right, so the connection to the Wraith, there is one. The same character that I just mentioned, Skank. Throughout this episode, he's constantly uh, drinking uh, some kind of uh, automobile uh, fluid. All right, so the the concept is uh, tox, uh, toxic. Okay, so that's another interesting um, anecdote. Fans of Star Trek know that Q was in. Q Hugh, and this is from 1989, season 2, episode 16, and this was the introduction of the Borg. Alright, so if you check out the plot of the Wraith, I think you'll um, see what, where I'm going with this. Charlie Sheen's character in the Wraith, he's kind of like a avenging uh, angel. Uh, futuristic android or some kind of alien uh, not unlike uh, in his appearance of uh, the Borg in Star Trek alright it's so another worthy mention in the opening of the Wraith 1986 there's a couple in a Dodge Daytona and the driver to me resembles actor Jim Carrey. Okay, so on the topic of Q, uh, Jim Carrey, he was in a movie uh, where there was a character that acted uh, like Q. Uh, he's able to do anything, some kind of uh, godlike magical uh, power. And this was Bruce Almighty. 
this is from 2003. So if you like my videos, you can contact me. My email address is eggguy at yard.com. YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. And what I do there is I'll look at media from the past and I analyze this uh, for hints and references to future movies, TV, uh, noteworthy events, uh, pop culture items, etc. There are plenty of such references as you can see in many of my videos. And uh, thanks for watching.